Hey there, folks. Another day. Another step closer to the big GTA 6 reveal. We're riding that hype train full throttle here. If you're new, welcome aboard. And big thanks to those sticking around. You're awesome. Now, let's dive into the chaos. We've got leaks, old and new, plus rumors buzzing around from supposed insiders who claim they're in the know. Trust me, they're not. But we'll sift through it all as we gear up for the GTA 6 reveal. Rockstar dropped a bomb recently, confirming a full trailer in December. But hold up. What's full-fledged exactly? Teaser or the whole enchilada? It's time to round the company's anniversary which sent the internet into a frenzy. And you bet this reveal's gonna shatter all trailer viewing records. Oh, and if you're into stocks, take two interactive stocks soared after that tweet. A single tweet making stocks jump from 10 to $15. Crazy, right? Now, new info spilling out. Insider leaks and Take-Two themselves sharing bits about GTA 6. Brace yourselves, cause what Take-Two spilled might not be what you wanted to hear before the big reveal. Let's start with some leaked gameplay info that's got me intrigued about GTA 6. By the way, I'm holding a monthly giveaway for a PlayStation 5. You just need to subscribe and you're entered. Now, back to the video. Word on the street is they're tweaking how carjacking works to make it more realistic. Apparently, it'll be tougher to swipe luxury cars with beefed up security, while the older models will be easier to snatch, break a window, hotwire, and you're off. But if you're eyeing a high-end ride, you might need special tools or some fancy hacking minigame to pull it off. Personally, I'm not thrilled about this minigame edition. I find these interruptions annoying. They mess with the game's flow. Until now, car theft in GTA was pretty straightforward, which wasn't a bad thing. But considering GTA 6 is setting over 10 years after the last one, upgrading the mechanics isn't a bad call. It could add depth and make the experience more immersive. Speaking of changes, cops won't magically spawn with tanks and choppers anymore if you raise the alarm. They'll actually travel from a police station, which seems more realistic, and I'm liking that shift. Recently, a bunch of leaks and rumors surfaced from various sources, supposed insiders and passionate fans dissecting a leaked game build from last year. We've confirmed the Vice City setting, and comparing it to previous maps, the size could be mind-boggling. The last Vice City map was around 5.6 SQKM, but if the new GTA 6's map matches the GTA 5 map size, which is unlikely, Vice City could be eight times bigger. Realistically, the city won't be that massive, but it's still going to be a significantly larger representation of Florida. Now about the map size, predictions suggest it might be at least double the size of GTA 5. However, knowing Rockstar, they might go smaller. They did it with GTA 4 after the vast GTA San Andreas map. So, size expectations for GTA 6? It's a bit uncertain, but it wouldn't be a shocker if they opted for a more focused and compact map this time around. GTA 4 had a crazy detailed map, right? People assume GTA 6's map won't be smaller than GTA 5S, but hey, Rockstar's made smaller maps before. I don't think GTA 6 will be tiny, but it won't be three or four times bigger either. The GTA 5 map is huge, around 48% supposedly. Some say Rockstar might add more cities to the map later, like post-launch updates with new missions and stories. So if the map feels small at first, it might grow with time. That could be a win-win, especially for longtime GTA fans who felt let down by lack of single-player stuff in GTA 5. Remember how GTA 4 had cool DLC? Yeah, GTA 5 went all in on multiplayer, leaving single-player DLC in the dust. But for GTA 6, if they keep updating and expanding the map, it might mean single-player DLC makes a comeback. I'm totally up for that, and maybe you are too. Online's great, but us old-school GTA fans crave more offline story stuff post-launch. So there's this thing making rounds about GTA 6's price, and it's a bit worrying. Remember the chatter a while back? Some claimed GTA 6 might cost over a hundred bucks for the base game. Crazy, right? I get why Take-Two might think of that. GTA 6 is the hottest cake, and people will still line up to buy it even if it's pricier. Turns out, during an investor chat, the CEO of Take-Two hinted that games are kinda underpriced considering the content and budgets. He's thinking gamers should pay for the expected entertainment usage instead of a one-time game price. Translation, GTA 6 might get a subscription or a higher base price. Not the best news, right? 2023's gaming's getting costlier. Consoles, subscriptions, all upping their prices, yet new games hit $1.70, some not even worth it. This isn't a 100% GTA 6 is gonna be crazy expensive confirmation, but it's a sign the big boss thinks $1.70 for a game with loads of playtime isn't enough. Bad news for GTA, maybe. Think about it. GTA 5 is still selling millions yearly after a decade. Take-Two might argue, GTA 6 will also be a decade-long affair, hence justifying a higher price. Will people still buy it? Probably. But what's your limit? How much are you willing to fork out for GTA 6? So, GTA 6 has some cool stuff that's been officially confirmed from the September leaks. Let's discuss confirmed features in GTA 6. When you're up in the air on a commercial flight, it's not just about watching from the outside. Nope, this time it's all about being inside the plane. But you can't just bail out of the plane whenever you feel like it. If the plane happens to be hovering over a spot you can't access, your character goes through this whole animation thing before they can actually leave. 
While you're in there, you've got some freedom to move around. Check out the scenes, grab a drink from the onboard bar, and even switch seats if you're feeling fancy. Now, for those who are all about the high life with their own private jets in GTA 6, it gets even more interesting. You can have your own staff chilling at your place. Yep, like having butlers, chefs, maids, and all those folks. And here's the cool part. These folks match up with your kind of place, whether you're living large in a massive mansion or chilling in a smaller apartment. So basically, it's all about customizing your lifestyle according to your character's vibe. Digging deeper into GTA 6, there's this interesting thing when you're using cab or other ways to get around. In the previous GTA 5, you had this option to skip stuff, right? Well, this time, they've switched it up. Now, there's a nap option. It's like a shortcut. Your character can take a quick snooze while they're getting to where they need to go. Sounds cool, huh? But hold up, it's not all smooth sailing. Sometimes, if you decide to doze off, you might wake up to find out you've been robbed while catching those Zs. So, watch out for that. Now, about the DLC stuff, in the first DLC pack, you get to play as Tony Prince. He's dealing with some serious addiction problems while his story runs alongside the main GTA 6 events. Then comes the second DLC, where you step into the shoes of Ramon, a guy from the Vice City Vegas gang who just got out of a really long 15-year prison sentence. His struggle? Adjusting to a new bunch of gang members who don't really respect his old status. This story happens just before the whole GTA 6 plot kicks off. In GTA 6, social media is a big deal. Each character has their own profiles on Bleeder and Life Invader. It's not just for show. These profiles let them interact with other characters in more detailed ways. You can get deeper into their lives and personalities through this feature, which takes things up a notch compared to how it was in the older GTA games. Now, when it comes to the NPCs, things have changed a lot. In the past, the combos with NPCs were pretty short and not that meaningful, but now they're part of these long conversations that make the game world feel more alive. Oh, and what you wear in the game matters. Your character's clothes can affect how other characters see and talk to you. So, it's not just about your actions, it's also about your style in GTA 6. In GTA 6, navigating through airport security demands utmost caution. If you start acting suspiciously within the airport premises, security won't just let it slide, they'll question you thoroughly. And trust me, any attempt to bypass security checks or even think about stealing or hijacking a plane, well, that's just asking for serious trouble. The consequences? Fatal outcomes. So it's better to play it safe around airport security. Now about the whole breaking the law part in the game, don't expect a life of luxury and fame. When you engage in unlawful activities, there are repercussions. You might end up facing the law, having to pay for the damage caused, or making amends to those you've hurt. But hold on, it's not all doom and gloom. If you become a victim of a crime and the cops catch the culprit, you've got the chance to seek compensation through legal channels. It's about taking responsibility for your actions, whether you're the one causing trouble or dealing with its aftermath. Shifting gears to the TV experience in GTA 6. It's pretty detailed. TVs now run on schedules, and you can even set reminders on your in-game phone for your favorite shows. You've got a wide range of programs to pick from. Reality shows, comedies, dramas, sports events, you name it. Each show comes with multiple episodes that follow a specific airing schedule. But here's what makes it exciting. What you do during missions or just explore the game world directly affects the news that airs on TV and the radio. It's like the game adapts to your actions, making the whole world feel more dynamic and alive. In GTA 6, your characters need some downtime. Ignoring their need for rest isn't a good idea. If you do, things go downhill. Your character's health starts taking a hit, they recover slower, and their vision gets all blurry. In some cases, they might even pass out for a bit. This applies even when you're in the middle of missions or fights. So making sure your character gets enough rest is a big deal. Oh, and here's a cool thing. If you leave your character just standing around when they're tired, they might just doze off for a bit. The game's all about being realistic, right? Well, now they've upped it with visible sweat. Remember how characters in GTA 5 would sweat after running? In GTA 6, it's taken to a whole new level. You'll see sweat on their clothes and even droplets rolling down their skin. Skin. It's not just for looks, it shows how much strain your character's under and how stressed they might be. So, it's like a visual cue for their physical condition and stress levels. Okay, so the big news from this video is about GTA 6. Rockstar Games is not stopping at just releasing the game. Nope, they've got plans for two single-player DLCs. Sounds like they're aiming to make the game's story even bigger. Now, here's something cool. In GTA 6, your character can rock some headphones and listen to the radio while doing stuff in the game. Whether you're wandering around the city or knee-deep in a mission, you can enjoy your favorite tunes while you play. And there's more to it. GTA 6 has this stress thing going on. When your character's feeling pressured, it gets harder for them to sleep, and sometimes they can't sleep at all. Lots of stuff can stress them out, like shootouts, dealing with the cops, or just the pressure of their job. Each character in the game reacts differently to stress, making the game feel more real and immersive. In GTA 6, your characters aren't just solo figures in the game world. 
They can actually build friendships and make business connections with other characters. Sure, there are big shots like Jacob Hughes who play a major role in the story, but the game's social scene isn't limited to them. Your characters can bond with regular folks too, creating a web of diverse connections that keep things interesting. Now, here's a new thing in GTA 6. Credit cards. Yeah, you can get one from a bank or online, which lets you spend more money than you actually have. It's kind of like borrowing money. So, if your funds are low, but you want to buy stuff, you can use the card. But here's the catch. It's not free money. When you use the credit card, you get about a week to pay it back with some interest. If you can't pay it back in time, the bank sends tough guys after you. And if they take you down, you gotta pay back everything you owe, cover your medical bills, and even cough up for the stuff you bought. If you can't pay, the cycle repeats, giving you another week before those tough guys come knocking again. Tough gig, right? Talking about the single-player DLCs for GTA 6, it's important to understand that plans and execution can differ. We've heard about these DLCs, but in game development, things might change. Looking back, the history of GTA games shows alterations before their release. For instance, after the tragic events of 9-11, GTA 3 went through changes. Parts of the game that were seen as sensitive or inappropriate after the tragedy got modified or removed. Moving on to some finer details in GTA 6, there's this realistic touch where things stick to your character. If you get paint, blood, or dirt on you during the game, it stays there until you clean it off. It's a small thing, but it adds to the immersion, making the game world feel more authentic and detailed. When it comes to getting involved in conflicts with rival gangs in GTA 6, it's not something to take lightly. If you cross paths with another gang, they'll come at you hard. Expect intense chases, shootouts, and heated confrontations. And if you really get on the wrong side of the Mafia, they might send in a highly skilled hitman to take you out. But here's the thing. This info about GTA 6 is based on leaks and speculation from around September 2022. Game development is a complex process, and plans can change a lot before the final game is out. Take GTA 5, for example. They planned single-player DLCs, but the massive success of GTA Online made them shift their focus. So, things can turn out quite different from what's initially rumored or leaked.